Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a general reading, it won't resonate with everyone, but you can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. Now I'm going to take a card to head this reading and then we'll look at the tarot and see what it's saying. Now we've got the devil energy here. Now the devil card can be toxic relationships, it can be things we're feeling chained to. You can see the chains here. Um, it could be that we're with someone that is not we're not happy with here. And we're feeling chained to this person and it's holding you back. Now, there can be a fear aspect to this as well of leaving the situation. It might be your little voice in your head saying you can't move on. So it could be temptation as well. You could be tempted to somebody that can't give you what you need here. So we'll just see what the tarot's got to say. We'll take nine cards and we'll see what the storyboard is saying today. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, which is what I was talking about earlier, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Pentacles, the overall central energy here is the Five of Cups, the Devil twice, the Devil energy twice. Now this is Scorpio energy, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in the chart. The Three of Swords, the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Now what we've got, the overall central energy here is disappointment and upsets. Now this is fives. Fives have changed for me. He's crying because there's been heartfelt upsets here. So this person, whoever this person is, is not serving you well. They're upsetting you, they're causing you upset and heartache. It could be that, I mean we've got this twice. Uh, you know, you've got it twice here. Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy. Did I say that? You could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with Capricorn in their chart. These, this is a temporary place. We can move on. We don't need to be ch tied to chain to anybody in life. These clouds will clear if you allow them. And we need to stop focusing on what you've been through with this person. This is you. This person is somebody who's fleeting in and out your life that you're drawn to, you find attractive. You may find this person very attractive, but they're not reliable or stable. It could also be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius energy, but they're fleeting, they're coming in and out, they're not stable, or they're they could actually be somebody who appears very charming on the surface, but they've got hidden uh, underlying issues. In re with regards to relationships or with themselves. That's what I want to be saying here. But they're not, it's not showing. So it might be somebody that's married. It might be somebody that can't give you what you want. It might be somebody you're tempted to go back to time and time again. But what Spirit is suggesting here is that this is the time. It's time now for you to make a decision about this situation. And we have got the Seven of Pentacles here. Now, this is it's divine timing here. The hope and luck is on your side. The wheel of fortune is moving in your favour. And you need to start to think very clearly about what you're wanting from your life. Now, it could be somebody that you've invested time in, you've been patient with, and they haven't come up trumps. It's that type of energy. So, you know, you feel as if you've maybe been patient long enough and they've not, you know, your expectations with regards to them has not been filled fulfilled. So it's about deciding whether to put any more effort into this relationship. Do you put any more effort into this relationship? Now, this is pure guidance. Everybody has the right to freedom of choice. It's pure guidance. That's all this is. It's your right of choice at the end of the day. So luck is on your side if you were to make a decision here. Now, the Queen of Swords is somebody who is very clear-headed. She listens to her intuition here. She's admitting and facing up to the disappointments that are happening within this relationship. It's been a very challenging relationship. You've been through a lot with this person and you've learned a lot of lessons and you're still surviving, but it's draining you dry. You're on your knees with it now. We're at a stage here where we're having to make decisions about how we're going to go forward. Now, depending on what you've learned here will determine how your decisions are being made. So these are all karmic lessons that you've been through and you've been through them for a reason. And the reason is now you have to make some solid, intelligent decisions about the path you want to go down. Now, she cuts people and situations out of her life that no longer serve her. Now, I say she, it's not a gender-specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards. 
She is not with someone that's chained to that lets her down, that's toxic. It's not a toxic relationship. It's not an unstable relationship. She wouldn't be in any of these types of things. So once she's made her mind up, and please listen to your intuition on this, come into the present, forget the past now. This is about your future we're talking about here. Make sure that nobody talks you out of it because I've got a feeling here that this person can be very persuasive and very charming on the surface. So Queen of Swords is someday, once they've made their mind up, they do not go back. They do not suffer fools gladly and they don't take any prisoners. And she's ready here to speak up and say that she's had enough. It's got too challenging now and I'm making strategic decisions to go forward and I'm deciding it's no longer worth the effort for me to to invest in this situation any longer. Now, this could be affecting areas of your life. It could be to do, it could affect your work, your house, your home, your stability, your finances, obviously. You know, there could be one or more area of your life being affected by this decision you're making. But this is about your independence here. It's about being independent minded. Now, she's somebody, if you make the right decisions for you, you will can start to go forward to create harmony and stability in your life. Your self confidence will come back. Your self-esteem will be restored. And this is the singles card. It's a young empress. And what she's doing is she's made decisions so that she can create harmony around her, herself. So she invests in the right people. She knows how much of herself to give to somebody before it gets unstable. So you're in a position here where you could make decisions to become independent. It could be independent minded as well. She's not codependent on anybody. She's not in a codependent situation. She's uh, somebody who is very well balanced and makes good choices in her life and has a very well balanced all round lifestyle. Now, let's see here. Don't listen to other people here. Choose your battles carefully and don't doubt your ability to make these decisions or take these, make these choices here and to speak up for yourself. Don't be spoken out of it. Fives are change and there needs to be change. It's about you making long-term plans for your future here. Now, I feel for some of you, you might have thought about this in the past because they're drawing me to the attention that he's looking to the boat here. Spirit's making me, he's looking to the boat and he's standing here and he's thinking, will I get on that boat? That's why I mentioned this here. If you want stability to restore stability and harmony to your life, he gets on the boat. And this is all about starting brand new opportunities for growth. So your life your, would bring harmony back. It's getting on this boat, making long term plans for your future so that you can enjoy life and be passionate about everything and, ev and everyone that's around you. It's also feeling, and I'm going to say this, enjoying your home life, enjoying your environments. So creating beautiful things because she has beautiful environments here. And remember, it's not a gender specific reading, but this is about brand new beginnings for growth and happiness for you. It's about being enthusiastic about going forward to create beautiful things in your own life here. OK, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.